light from far off worlds, truly far off, for the distillations of light are come entering into vessels, particles of the four lower bodies, whereby the light might purge the darkness that has slept in the long night of a sleep. Now awake, for I am Archangel Michael. I come for the healing of the four lower bodies that you might come to a higher place a place that is known of you when you are in octaves of light or in sleep, a place you do not know when you trudge the earth and therefore come to the conclusion that that is all that there is. Well, there is much more, but first of all, there is the protection the protection of your soul, that she might rise, the protection of her seamless garment, the protection of the victory of everyone who has come from God. I have been your protector, not only for the duration of the summit lighthouse, but for eons. For archangels, beloved, have existed almost forever. Therefore, I come to raise you do not then hastily make decisions in this hour, else you will find yourselves not on the right track, but on the wrong track. That those who must climb now and climb those mountains, mountains of self and self-stubbornness, mountains of beauty and light, where beings you have not known or named do frequent. Still the evolutions of Venus descend, yet still you will not or do not hear. I then come to you that you might listen, you might know, you might hear, and you might enter in to the mountains and the valleys of my causal body, for it is indeed a vast causal body. I ask you to take then my decrees, all of those that are dedicated to me, Archangel Michael, use them for a certain time period until you get beyond the struggle, the personal struggle, the personal trial, the personal level. For beloved, there are higher levels and you can leap to them, you can find them, you can know a transcendence, you can change garments and ways of thinking. You can do all these things if you will, but you cannot do them if you simply place your feet in one place upon the ground and say, here I will stay and I will not be moved. Well, you must be moved. You must be moved to the right, to the left, beneath, above, and in the very center of your heart. Be moved, beloved, for only there will you find the prize. Only there you will know the threefold flame and your empowerment thereof. Know that empowerment, for it brings you up, sweeping you with the great waves, waves of light, waves of the sea, waves from the very center of the earth or across the galaxies. As the waves move you, beloved, you find those new dimensions. Find them then, find them truly, find them, beloved, for I come for the founding, for the protection, for you going forth in that sense of a new model. What is your model? Find it out. That model, beloved, can take you to places you have not been to. Therefore, there is no such thing as standing still in this place. There's only that onward and upward. All of the forces of the cosmos are moving in this moment. Are you to stand still? Will you do that? Simply stand still, beloved? No. Well, I am here and at peace, 
and I send you forth with armor, and I say the challenge of the hour and the moment is to spiral upward and to know new vistas, not only of the heaven world, but of your own God-free being. Now contemplate what you can contain within yourself. Then move on, beloved. This is God's desiring. Can there be anything greater than God's desiring, beloved? I tell you no, for what God desires for you, we, the archangels, will execute. I seal you now. Go forth, fulfill that fiery destiny, for your mission is at hand. Enter into the heart of peace. Peace in all chakras, peace in the causal body, peace in the great rings of light of the causal body. Peace be still, peace be still, peace be still. I have come for I have known from the beginning that unless there be peace in this house, peace in your members, peace in your very bones, that this summit lighthouse should not prevail. Therefore, I took upon myself in the beginning to register cosmic Christ peace to all who would receive it. And to those who do not receive it, beloved, so there does come ultimately a clash between the forces of peace and the forces of anti-peace. Take upon you then your choice. Will you continually have in your solar plexus those momentums of anti-peace that have caused war and war again forever, or shall you put it all aside, cast it into the lake of fire, and banish peace by the power of the Godhead. Oh, such beauty and glory upon each one of you. Oh, such beauty and glory, such is the flame of the Elohim of peace. Aloha with me does circle the earth many times a day, stripping the planetary home purifying the winds, the rain, the seas, the energies, the lands, that which is beneath, that which is above. Peace be still and know that I am God. This is your key, beloved. We came in the beginning and have given you seven keys. Take them, take them, put them on your keychain. For the hour of peace must come upon you, it must rest upon you, and naught else may be allowed to enter in to that glorious presence of your holy Christ self. Now meditate upon peace, beloved, and correspondingly also entertain in your mind the feeling of non-peace.
Now I will speak to you of that perfect peace. Perfect peace, beloved, gives you an invincibility that very few keep. Very few keep the invincibility of peace. You, therefore, do know how to keep the peace, for you know the power of the word. Therefore, I remind you that when you misuse the power of the word in the solar plexus, you also make karma. And when you have balanced less than 51%, you know what are the consequences. Therefore, I say to you, hold the balance of peace in the earth, in all octaves, in the sea, the air, the fire, the wind, but most especially see rings upon rings upon rings of peace. And know that there is a body of peace that does surround the solar plexus and that the power of that body, that energy, is sufficient to dispel and transmute by the energy of the sixth ray those elements that lodge within your systems and truly hold you back until by and by the Lady Master Nada, Uriel and Aurora, Elohim, peace and purity, must say enough is enough. We may not give to these individuals more momentums of peace and more momentums. Let them go forth into the world and discover how difficult it is, how difficult it is indeed to maintain the elements of cosmic Christ peace. Cosmic Christ peace is akin to the flame of the Maha Chohan, who is also one of the sponsors. You see, beloved, when you take the elixir of Christ peace, when you take the essence of the Holy Spirit, then there is that coming together. Then there is that invincible presence. Call upon the Maha Chohan, for you, beloved, above all should be a people who know the Holy Ghost, who know Pentecost, and who know that peace is the all power of God. Now, beloved, I trust you will have the opportunity of listening to our words again and writing them down so that you will know that there are requisites to your victory, and these are they. Now move on the winds of the Lord and the Savior. As you imbibe this music following. Now, beloved, see 
How Elohim of peace and all angels of peace hold the tight rein upon the quality of peace, for they know what damage can be done to a world, the world of yourself, the world of the solar system, when the misused power of peace does descend upon a civilization. So you see, peace is not something light and airy and fluid. But peace is the power of the sun to hold the forces of the sun. Take this to heart, beloved. This is why you must be God-centered. And though you may think she is in air, the messenger has always told you well that it is in part what you partake of and what you place within that allows you to endure for a century and more in this life. So, precious ones, let peace abide at many levels, and may you imbibe that peace and know that when you knock upon the door, your garments, now seamless, it is the Christ your Lord who shall open. He shall open, and you shall enter, never more to go out again, for you have truly embodied the Prince of Peace. As the world has so called for it, move in that flame, beloved, for this is truly the joy of God. I am Saint Germain. I come in the very midst of those who have pledged to support this activity of the Summit Lighthouse. We now proclaim to you, beloved, that first and foremost, many souls of light have graduated from Earth's schoolroom through this activity and through your centers throughout the world. May you know this, beloved, that you have truly angels who move among you and sons and daughters of God, all who have passed their tests to the levels whereby they need not return. This is one point of tremendous victory that we hold before you, beloved, for it is so that I might tell you that you also might have this victory, and you are not set aside, but God has looked upon you with great joy and rejoicing, that God has blessed you, that the angels have blessed you. Therefore, go on and on, and open the hearts of many who have thought that they are not worthy for this joyous victory. In these times, beloved, we are most gratified that many of our students throughout the world have pledged 
over 40,000 hours, 40,000 hours of giving decrees. Beloved ones, I, Saint Germain, thank you, and I tell you that because of this possibility, many more doors shall be opened. Soon the messenger will return to South America. Soon she will speak to many, and hopefully many will come in return to this place. Blessed hearts, many things are ready to happen. The opportunities are there for the messenger to have her talk show weekly in the United States. This is such a great boon, beloved. It gives air time to the Great White Brotherhood that has not happened consistently in many, many a year. I applaud this, and so do those of the seventh ray who have just been waiting for the communications to accelerate. Therefore, upon the messenger's return, she will begin a weekly show that contains Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. This is a great beginning, beloved, and can go farther and farther across the nation. May you realize what a great opportunity it is. You may remember, beloved, that St. Clair has also blessed the media. In this service, therefore, beloved, know that you can increase and multiply the knowledge of many souls so that the day might not come that the beautiful souls in their beautiful temples and beautiful churches must be sent back to earth for another round because they have not heard of the violet flame nor balanced their karma. O oh, beloved, even the book that has been printed now on reincarnation is one that all might read in their own tongues, this one having been translated into Portuguese. Can you not feel the rejoicing of the coming of the souls? Whereas I, Saint Germain, have such a tremendous rejoicing that you have given to me cup after cup after cup of violet flame, that there might be a transformation of the world. The messenger knows and sees and understands and enters into what kind of an acceleration that this can cause on planet Earth. And each time the messenger is sent to another continent or another nation, those areas might also receive lectures, dictations, and so forth, and perhaps also take part in the media in those countries. There is no end to what can happen, beloved. Therefore, we say to you, as we are moving on in this three-year cycle, keep it up, beloved. We have other assignments for you. We want to see what can happen to the world when all are working so intensely for this victory. It is a wondrous thing to think that at the anniversary of the Summit Lighthouse, that this is happening. These very days promoting and putting forth the sign to me and to all of the seventh ray that you truly believe in me, believe in the Great White Brotherhood, believe in everything that we can do for God. What a treasure, what a blessing. Do you know, beloved, how many have turned their backs upon me at the time of the revolution, at the time of the upheaval in France, of the time of the beheadings. Blessed ones, these were dark days for those who were the kings and queens and those on the thrones at those times. Beloved ones, they were not able to turn around what was brewing in the French Revolution. Therefore, many among you know now that your heads rolled, 
But today, beloved, it is the eyes that are rolling. And those eyes are saying to the world, we are alive and well, and we will take those very heads themselves and cast them into the sacred fire and call upon God for new life, new reinforcements, new adventures, new pioneering, going forward and transcending ourselves. This is the day, the hour, and the victory, and all that is past is into the flame, and all that is present is about to burst as the fireworks of July, and you are about to realize that what we have said and what we have called for, beloved, can indeed come to pass. May you make it so, beloved, for I tell you, I surely do not know if the Lords of Karma will give me another grant. And now that I have the grant from you, beloved, I surely will take it and run with it. Thus, I call to the legions of the seventh ray, and I call to the Ma Chohan, and I speak to your hearts. And with all of my being, I say to you, my most precious beloved, I love you, I love you, I love you. Beloved ones, I am the Ma Chohan, and I speak to you briefly, yet profoundly. As you must already know, Saint Germain is most joyous, most free, most full of ideas of what he can do for you and for the world. I bring to you then my key, and my key is the key of the Holy Spirit. My key is the key whereby you open the lock to the door, and that door brings you face to face to me, to the Maha Chohan. It brings you to the very heart of God, and it brings you to the very heart of every soul in the earth of the world's major religions. It brings that consciousness to those souls. Blessed ones, there are millions of people throughout the world whom will not be validated by you unless they know that they have received the Holy Spirit truly and that it is not a false Holy Spirit, but it is the real Holy Spirit and that by the really real Holy Spirit that they might be cleansed and millions might be cleansed and purged of all of their burdens, of all of their illnesses, of all of their sicknesses. You see, beloved, many in the world know that there is healing and that there is true healing. They also know that it is false healing. Thus, those who know well and judge well and have truly the gifts of the Holy Spirit, as your messenger Mark did have them, they know that those who have the gift of the Holy Spirit are those who can deliver, those who can expand this organization, those who can expand the paths of the ages of the entire world. You must come up to the level of being that presence and manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Then the whole world will know you. They will know who you are and what you are. They will know that you are not fighting one against the other. They are not conniving. They are not moving against this and that one, but they are truly coming into the purity of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit brings the love of God, the whiteness of God, the action of God, the ascension flame of God. This is why the seven rays come under me, the Holy Spirit, and this is why I am a part of the seven. I am here, beloved, and I am here for the victory. I tell you then, as you accelerate, as you walk that path, as you know and learn from the Maha Chohan, you will enter into a new dimension whereby the Maha Chohan, I myself, will walk and talk with you. And you shall know the mysteries. You shall know those things that are the gifts of the Holy Spirit. May you know this, beloved. May you move toward that. 
May you recognize also that your messenger, even most recently, did make a call for a child who was severely ill in this community. And through the Holy Spirit, this child was healed by the prayers of your messenger. I tell you this, beloved, so that you might know that it, there is not one individual here or throughout the fields of the worlds of the nations who cannot do this. You can do this, but you must let go your baggage, let go, yes, I say it, your junk, your nonsense, and activate that principle of the heart that threefold flame, that white fire, so that when you pray and when you call, the Holy Spirit answers, and those who are intended to be healed will be healed, and those who must bear their burdens must bear their burdens, and this is the law, beloved. That is why not all are healed. But because some are healed, you must look to receiving that healing power, which means, again, cleanse your temples, cleanse your chakras, move on. Move on and enter the hierarchy of the Holy Spirit while you yet walk the earth and know such a joy and a healing as to be incomparable to that which you now know. I am the Maha Chohan, forever and forever. To the eternal God I speak, and in my speaking I enter your hearts, beloved. I know your burden, I know your victory, I know your strength, I know that you can reach the top wherever you determine to do so. There are arduous times, and there are good times. There are times to play with joy and laughter, and there are times when one can grasp the meaning of it all, to understand suddenly in a flash who is El Moria and what has he been doing for eons. Have the sense of movement across the cosmos, beloved. Have a sense that you are in God and of God, in God and of God. Know that you are in the fiery core of selfhood that is more to you than flesh, that is more to you than anything. Accept victory. Beloved ones, we are so far into this very challenge that how could we let go of it? How could we turn it aside? How could we say, well, we will go here or there and check in to the good life? The good life, beloved, is for those who go all the way. That good life, beloved, waits for you. The good life down here, beloved, 
is that part and parcel of your destiny that makes you a fighter, that makes you say, I am ready, Lord, the moment you wake up in the morning. I am ready, Lord. What do you have for me today? Well, beloved, you have much for me because I have much for you. Enter in, beloved, to the secret chamber of the heart. Meditate there. Do not fear the foul voices. Cast them aside. Cast them aside. All of you have gained a great victory who have been a part of being at the ranch or being at our several conferences. But beloved, what counts is the purity of your heart. This, therefore, I come to honor. I come to the purity of your hearts. And that is where I look, and that is what I see, the purity of your hearts. Rejoice in that purity and keep it. Reach out to the goddess of light, the queen of light, the goddess of purity. Reach out, beloved, for you have attainment you know not of. Thus I announce it to you as a certain birthday gift from my heart. Take it, beloved. Take it. Let us move now with Saint Germain. Let us move with him and see his victory and his glory. Let us see that, beloved. Let our hearts burst on the day that it comes when all of your decrees shall be satisfied and Saint Germain might have his rejoicing. I am El Moria. There are dark things in the earth, but I choose to look at the greater, the light, the sun, and the God star. Tempest Fugit, move on, beloved. Take advantage of all that you have built. Build upon it again and again. For you are having your victories. But you must know it, else you will lose them. I seal you then in joy. I now seal the Summit Lighthouse in the heart of Gautama Buddha. I am that Gautama Buddha, and I speak to you from the other side of the globe. I speak of war, I speak of evil, I speak of envy. I speak of those who are the Tibetans who have lost their lives for whom we seek placements even here at the retreat. The world is in turmoil in many places. 
Hold the stability of the world. Enter the heart of me, for I am in your heart and one. As industry, commerce moves on in the Orient, remember, remember the United States, remember the countries of your homelands, remember your point of origin, and remember that while you are on earth, you can raise up and raise up again and raise again many life waves who are truly of the light. Follow them, nurture them, care for them, bring them to the teachings, give your mantras, whether in Hinduism or in Buddhism, come to the shore of being, know the elements of cosmos, expand eternity, know that life is real, that death is not, that none can steal from you a perfect thought, a presence dear, a knowledge high, a victory that circles a cosmos. There is no death, dying, for the departed, but only successions of rounds of entering the rays of glory. So shall it be for the summit lighthouse, for eternity merges where there are souls of light. Be not afraid, be not disturbed. Challenge what you do not like in yourself Replace it with roses, pink roses of love, of nada. Get on with the not-self, beloved, so that you might endure as well as endear the world with your love. Do so, beloved. Make this our beloved summit lighthouse a bouquet of many, many flowers. Let us do it, beloved, for the whole world is poised for the victory. I say to you, go for it now. Now is the moment when you can claim the cosmos. I am Gautama. I am here, for I am determined to see this race from the beginning to the end. In the nobility of the heart, I seal you with all of my love. Beloved ones, I am honored today to be in your midst 
for I have taken upon me the responsibility of organizing the entire planetary endeavor for St. Germain and for the multiplicity of all of the votes that you have given to him, votes of confidence for the messenger's journey to South America. I bow before the light within you, and I bless you for this opportunity. All who have been a part of the I Am movement, some who have taken their ascension and some who have returned, also rejoice. In addition, there are souls throughout the world who have that attainment of the white light, which was so confirmed in the I Am activity. We would see then such a tremendous change, beloved, especially a change of upheaval in the earth, in the elements, in storms, in irregularities in these patterns. We are therefore moving toward the support of elemental life as never before. And we ask you to give daily 18 times the elemental decree as you have on some days. There is such a calming in elemental life when they know that they can count on those decrees for, from you. I speak to you also then of the presidents of the United States that have come down from the beginning and to this hour. It is truly, beloved, an awesome thing to see how many even of these presidents have been corrupt, have not been capable to run the country, whereas the, ch the people themselves had a much greater ability to do so. But Mindful of that corruption, beloved, there has always been the victory, and the victory is always in the hearts of the people and not in those who have moved against the people through their misuse of finances and the government itself. With the violet flame and the decrees that you give, you may well find a major change with souls coming to the fore who are truly of the light, who are truly of the Christed ones. Know this, beloved, and take it to your heart that we are a company of saints and that we can hold hands around the world. We can meet at the poles. We can know that God has changed and turned around what might have been a catastrophe. Blessed ones, let this opportunity not escape us, for if we use it, if we have it, if we multiply it, we may see again and again that St. Germain will not hesitate for the messenger to go beyond these shores. Thus, beloved, think upon these things and think what a boon it is. Since we have knowledge, since we know, since we have the tools, since we have the love, since we have the desire for the ascension itself, do we not then, as the supporters of St. Germain, truly desire to have this happen. Yes. Yes. So therefore, beloved, when all is said and done, we will know what we shall have accomplished. And if it is not enough, I pray that you will come back bigger, better, stronger, and able to carry the planet. And suddenly or gradually you will come to realize that it is not the flesh but it is your great causal body that you have worked through and built for eons that is enabling Saint Germain to have that victory. Carry on, beloved, for this is indeed an opportunity. It is indeed the rejoicing of beloved Portia, who has waited so long for the rallying of the millions around her beloved. For all these things, for all these things, the Great White Brotherhood does thank you. Now may this next year be better than ever, meeting more and more souls, and may you see phenomenon that you are not even necessarily seeing at this time, but we are holding back so that you might have another victory, another rejoicing, and another celebration. Now, beloved, enjoy your day, and let's get to work and have those victories for Saint Germain and his age 
of Aquarius. With the sign of the heart, the head, and the hand to you, I seal you in the light of cosmic freedom.